Hello guys, Stacey Cut here and welcome back to Star Stable. Easter is officially over in my world. <laughs> I had the Easter episode way later than the other or way later than Easter itself, but it was not that many things this year, which was actually a little weird. Like the stalls didn't have so much and uh, we didn't get so much equipment. So I had to buy something at the Ovex City Mall. But we got something from the egg though. We got a lot of detail or decorations. Easter egg and egg. And I'm not sure if that... Yeah, Easter witch main feathers. And we also got the Easter witch saddlebag. So the for some reason the theme this year was being a witch. But I didn't got everything, but I got something. Like, I got the Easter Witch Jumper. And some boots. Uh, and yeah, I also bought the chicken <laughs> mask. Um, but I don't think I get anything other. No, doesn't seem like it. Because I ha didn't have access to the, all the worlds. Like, I cannot get to the Valley of the Hidden Dinosaur yet or Golden Hills Valley or Epona. So there were several things that I couldn't get access to. But we will take it even more or we'll try to get further within next year. So we'll get there. But when I logged on, or I will just change back to my outfit here <laughs> and take off this little cute mask. Let's see here. There. Oh, no. There we go. There. Uh, when I logged on and was just going through the stables to see if the horses are okay, this seems okay, all of them are okay, but... And yeah, I have been riding North Fire here, which we also gonna ride today. And this was okay, but then I come to my freezing horse and he was looking like this. <laughs> like, what's going on? What happened if we try to touch it? No? It's still only the main and tail that is showing. This is way too hilarious. It's like, tack, the main and the tail. <laughs> what? It's actually quite funny though, because I have not experienced that kind of a bug yet in Star Stable. So, look at it. What happened if you try to take the gear off the horse? Ah, it's the gear that's doing it. It's the leg wraps. It's something wrong with the yellow leg wraps. Got it. I maybe need to report that. <laughs> uh, the yellow leg wraps, leg, leg wraps uh, from the Yorvik City Mall is broken. What happened if I try this with another horse? So we will let Noble Diamond have a little have a free time now since he has been our beautiful Easter horse and open house event horse so we will take noble fire out today and we're gonna do some regular quest this time which I have been looking for I think I said something about some quests in the uh, after the Easter episode but I have totally changed my opinion so that's totally normal I promise <laughs> But what happened if we tried these leg wraps on other horses? Do we have the same result? Let's take a look at our starter horse, Phantom Blaze, here. No. It seems to be on the freezing horse, so that's okay to know. What happened if we take it on no fire here? He also look fine, so I think it's only the freezing horse that has that problem. Alright, um, I have been thinking a lot on what we should do next. And of course I want to do everything. <laughs> but I really want today to go to Steve's farm to continue this chipmunk's quest or chipmunk quest. And also for Pinta to speak to James. So we'll see what we have time for and if we can do both of them. And then eventually I will try to figure out where the next adventure is gonna be. Gonna be interesting. So, alright. 
let's first go to Steve's farm and then to James at Fort Pinto. All right. Oh, here we have another one that has that particular bug or something. There's something weird with the leg wraps on the freezing horse. <laughs> All right. Let's speak to Steve. Hello, Steve. How's everything? Hope you had a great Easter and so on. A shipment of cabbage on its way. The cabbage has arrived. Take this pile of cabbage and put it into the holes in the field, as the vet said. Then we will then we will see if the small creatures will be more friendly. I will. Let's give them some cabbage. Oh, one of eight. Should be exact. Oh, there was one chipmunk. Oh, look at it. It's so cute. Oh, another one. They're coming up. Oh, hello. Cool little chipmunk. Oh, there we have you too. Okay. <laughs> the chipmunks are up, Steve. Okay. So they peeked up from the holes and seemed happy? Great. Oh. What do you think about letting him live behind the barn? In the corner of the old wall where the ray starts. Then we won't have to walk far when it's feeding time. Here, take these signs and put them up around here so no one walks or rides into this area and gets hurt. We don't want any tourists to get stuck again. Yeah, we don't want that. There we go. All the signs are up, Steve. Hmm. Well done, Stella. Now we have made a new home for our little friends. Hmm? What? You think we should give them a bathtub? Aha, the vet said that they like to take baths because they get so dirty when they dig. Fair enough. Barney at the silo has some old water trouts and I'm sure he has one to spare. Barney can usually be found outside his silo to the east of us, so not far away. That's right. That's right. You have met him before. All right. Well, let's go to Barney then. Hey, Barney. Oop. Let me just back up a bit. And here we have a lot of butterfly skin. Hmm. You want an old water trout? A bath for chipmunks? Steve seems to get weirder every day. I think he's using my grain for other things than feeding the birds. Hmm. Of course you can take an old water trout. I think there's one behind the silo. If you can find one that isn't broken, you're welcome to take it. Thank you. And I see some sparkles, so I think we will find one right away. Oh, a bathtub. I thought it was supposed to be bigger, but that was cute and small. <laughs> oh, I never seen these things before growing up here. Fancy. Okay, back to Steve. <laughs> All right, Steve, I have a water trout. Hmm. That's fine. That's a fine trout. Hmm? Just put it over there in the chipmunk's future at the chipmunk's future home. All right, then. I will. Oh, there we go. <laughs> so cute and little. I thought it was bigger, but OK. Oh. Easy there, horsey. Do not gallop that fast. All right, Steve. The bathtub is placed. Hmm. Done. Okay. Take the rest of the cabbage and put it in the chipmunk's new home so we can see if they want to go there. All right. I will. Oh. Oh, here they come. Like a lightning. <laughs> How cute. How nice that they moved over here so quickly. I think they like both you and the cabbage a lot. I hope they will live happily here in the new home so no one will fall down any more holes. Thank you again for a job. Well, thank you again for a job. Well done. You can go back. You can come back and help me feed them if you want to. Seems like we have another quest for us now. Fixing the fields. Mm. Stella, I'm almost forgot. The old holes that the shipmunks made have to be filled. They're just as dangerous now as before. 
Take this shovel and cover them. When you come back, I will have a nice reward for you. Ooh, and get some peens. Awesome, we will fill them right away. But do we need to get down from the horse though? Yes, we have to. <laughs> All right, let's get this hole filled. Oops, one more time. Oh, nice. Oh, there we go. Let's go back to Steve and see the perfect reward. We get the nice reward that he said that he has. Hmm. Thanks. We are done for now. We have to. We have to wait to see if any more mysterious small animals show up at my farm. If they do, I know who to call for help. Right. Have a nice day here in Silverglade, Stella. Thank you. Check out these pants. Not that one. Ooh, good old pants. That is purple. I'm adorable. All right. Next one is James in Fort Pinto. Hey, James. I know we had a treasure map quest with you, and I also see you have another one. Wallet gone, money vanished, end of the world. But we go with the complete map first. I have now pieced the map together, but I still don't understand it. Here is the map, Stella. You have a go at finding the treasure. I need to take care of my customers here who want to spend money in Fort Pinto. I don't have the time right now. Come back after you find the treasure. Okay. Chip chop. Here's a special guy. Oh. Um, okay. I see a bridge in here. Huh. Where exactly are we going? Here is this flower thing. Ooh! Never mind. I see the exclamation point. Hmm. This could be something. A little stone in the wall. Ha! Did you really think it will be that easy? If you want Mississippi Jones treasure, you are going to have to work for it. It won't be easy. I can't have I can't have just any old fool finding my treasure. The map was only the first clue. If you want to find the next clue, you will need to make your way to Doyle's Abbey. Go there, but don't follow the road. Go as the crow flies. Go as the crow flies, Mississippi Jones. The crow flies. What? Those Abbey crow flies. That's weird. Ooh! Here we go! Alright. You have passed my first test, but it will only get harder. Mississippi Jones. Follow the beach towards the river. You will find the next clue by the smallest pillar at the river's mouth. Mississippi Jones. Alright. Follow the river then. Whoa! Look over there. And there we have. Say what? What's this though? A bottle. It looks like. There's something in it. A letter. Let me read it. My dearest, I'm leaving Yorick now and did not have time to say goodbye to you. My parents got the message that we needed to get on the first boat leaving the island. I never got your address, so I th threw this message in a bottle from a boat, hoping that it will reach you. Your Anna, October the 12th, 1972. That's a lot of years. Oh, that's a long time ago. P.S. Remember that little tree in Hollow Woods where we carved our names? Go there and think of me. Kisses. Whoa. But who it was for? Find a tree in Hollow Woods that has carving on it. All right, but let's continue with this first. Huh. That was the second clue. It wasn't so tough, was it? Follow the running water and look for a, w a way across. You will find the next clue right there by the water edge. 
Let me see Pichel. Alright. Water cross, huh? And hollow woods. Huh. No, oh, you need to go up. Hollow woods is quite big though, so how are we going to find the names on that particular tree? Hmm. I really want to get going with that too, but I have a feeling that this treasure thing will take a while. But we can try to take a little trip up here to see if we can find the tree quite fast, but I'm not so sure. This one was quite big though. I have a feeling they have crowded in on a tree that is standing out, or maybe not. <laughs> I will check that tree, it's right up there. Okay, here we can cross the water though. Wasn't that the message? Follow the running water and look for a way across. Here is a way across. You will find the next clue right. Okay, by the water edge. Huh. So far, I only find a star. No clue here. Edge. Edge. Which edge? <laughs> I see no clues here either. Okay. I will take a little short run up here to this tree that I saw. Stand out somehow, but maybe I'm totally wrong. <gasps> I can see some letters on it. So it was that Landon. Isn't that the guy with the cheeps? A carving! Now let's see what's written. Landon and Anna, Anna, Landon and Anna, 1972. Landon? Isn't that the guy with a cheap on Evergreen Fields? I will ride over to him with a letter. Right away, but we need to find a clue. Down here somewhere. Because here we can cross, right? Let's go down here and check. <gasps> here it is! Awesome. Why didn't we saw it on the other side? This is getting exciting. You haven't given up, have you? Mississippi Jones. Stand in the center of the bridge and behold the ruler's abode. Right in the di that direction and before you're halfway there you will find the next clue. Ruler's abode? The castle or what? Mississippi Jones. Right then? Center of the bridge and ride in the direction of Ruler's boat. I have a feeling that he means the castle though. So we're going in that direction. Give it a try. See if we can find something other. Or find something. Maybe in the direction of the castle. Towards the castle. <laughs> You're getting close, but there's still a way to go. Mississippi Jones. Find the nearest road and ride back to the place where you started the hunt. You find the next clue where the tree roads join. Mississippi Jones. Fort Pinta was the place we started. Tree road. Here are tree roads meeting. Well, it's tree roads here as well. Whoa! What's happening here? GED equipment. Ugh. It's tree roads here too. So, <laughs> here we have it. <laughs> you are really determined to find the treasure. We are getting close. Mississippi Jones. Next to your, next to you, there's a high cliff. Ride up on it and look around for the next clue. Mississippi Jones. There we have the high cliff. Ah, there was a clue on that cliff. Not looking for a clue. There is a clue there. The final clue is coming up. Don't give up. 
You're almost there. Look again towards the ruler's boat. Or castle. You could say castle. In front of it, you will see the Green Master's ma monument. You will find the next challenge at the foot of that monument. Mississippi Jones. Mon monument. Is that what you call a monument? Because I see something there. And then we have the circus. Let's go over to that place. Oh! Here we have something! There is no note here with a new clue, but this has to be the place that Mississippi Jones meant. That rock looks a little strange. I wonder what those ru runes mean. These runes seem really old. Who can help you over them? Elizabeth probably knows what they mean. I should ride, over, ride to Veildale to speak with her right away. That will be the last thing we do because I see the time is running away from us. So I will go very fast to land it, land in and give him the letter and then go to Elizabeth. Hey Landon, we have a letter for you. Hmm. Stella, a letter for me? And then we will have to go, but we will come back to you. <laughs> Not in this episode, but maybe the next one. Elizabeth, we need your help. The old rune stone? Yes, I know that one, but I have never really thought about what the runes mean. Or the runes mean. I will go and have a look. Why don't you come back tomorrow and I will tell you what they mean. Thank you, Elizabeth, which is perfect because then we can continue this quest in the next episode because right now we are out of time and we need to end this video or episode here. It was quite fun with this treasure hunt that we need to go to different places and try to read who the lines were to go. It was some of them were a bit more difficult than the other ones. So I really like this treasure hunt and I hope that could be a thing to do again, but maybe not, but it will be awesome if we could. And we also found this bottle, so we was actually on kind of two treasure hunts this time. Um, but we had to find a tree with carvings on, and for some reason that tree stand out when I was looking for the clue near the bridge at the river. It kind of stands out, so it was very fun to find it and get this or take this letter to Landing. So in the next episode we will continue with the treasure hunt. And I kind of want to continue with Landon as well. But James also had a second quest for us. So we try to focus on these. And eventually move then to Moreland to continue there. And then continue on something else. <laughs> so we have a lot of quests to do. So we'll make a plan and see how it goes. So you guys, what do you think about today's episode? About the treasure hunts in a different place that we have to go. It was very fun, and since we also found this bottle, we kind of was on two treasure hunts today. <laughs> so give a thumbs up if you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe, share with your friends, and i see you in the next episode. Bye!